This is what the rainforests of eastern Madagascar look like. We conduct research in these rainforests to better understand the plants and animals that live in the canopy of towering rainforest trees. There is an extraordinary diversity and abundance of organisms living here, ranging in size, shape, color, and agility. Most of what we know comes from research on the ground, but life in the trees is not the same as life on the ground. Animals here require certain adaptations to live. They require large toes for grasping vegetation. Some have specialized diets, and others are capable of making staggering leaps of faith. What is particularly unique in rainforests is what scientists call vertical stratification, where different animals occur within different vertical layers of the forest. Kind of like a cake with each layer being used by different animals. Within each layer is a community of plants and animals. And one plant that stands out are trash basket ferns or asplenium ferns. These ferns are unique in that they collect leaves and twigs from above and accumulate material over time. They are the trash baskets for the forest. This material decays and begins acting like a sponge. And what do sponges do? They absorb water. Our research now shows that because of this process, their ability to store water, these ferns are one of the most important elements in rainforests of Africa and Southeast Asia. These ferns are islands in the sky and home to many of the smaller animals that require a moist place to live, such as this frog species. So how do we reach these ferns to study them? We first shoot a line from the ground using a giant slingshot. We then pull our climbing lines up into the tree and we start our long ascent towards the canopy. When we arrive, we position ourselves and we begin searching for animals living within the ferns. Climate change and habitat loss threaten the animals and plants that live in the rainforests of Madagascar. Our team has begun conducting experimental research on ferns to better understand their capacity to adapt and withstand such disturbances. We now have the knowledge to harness the utility of these ferns, and by transplanting them, we could bring life back to the most disturbed of forests. By understanding the fate of birds' nest ferns, we will better understand the fate of the species that depend on them.